In this video, I will show you how you can set up Windows 11 on your new device because Microsoft improved Windows 11 a lot more and today they are releasing new update which comes with lots of new features and maybe you are excited about to get your hands on those features. So before following the full video, you need to understand what I'm going to cover in this video and you don't need to skip the video otherwise you will face some problems in middle because uh, so many steps in middle so if you skip that so you will face some problem. So first I'm gonna cover in this video how to do a clean install of Windows 11 using USB drive and after that how to enable TPM and secure boot and what if you have unsupported system that is also going to cover in this video. First thing you need to visit this official Microsoft website to download the ISO because we are going to create a bootable USB. So just scroll a little bit and here you will see option like download the ISO file. Select here Windows 11 and click on download now and here you need to select the language and click here confirm and click here 64 bit download and now it will start download and after downloading you need to download the Rufus software and just open this Rufus software here you need at least minimum 8 GB USB drive to create the bootable USB so just plug your USB drive and after that just select the ISO which you have downloaded after that just click on start here you will get one pop-up like uh, you have supported laptop or not if you want to bypass the requirement of Windows 11 just check all the boxes and unselect this bit locker if you are using otherwise you can uncheck all if you have supported system click here ok And now we have created the bootable USB successfully. Now you have to enable TPM or secure boot. So just turn on your laptop. So you need to go into BIOS. So just press F10. And if you have any other laptop, you will get those keys in image and press accordingly. Now we have entered in our BIOS setup and just go into security. Here you will see here TPM device or TPM state. So TPM state is enabled. Just enable it if it is in your case disabled. And after that, just go into boot options. Here you will see legacy support is turned on. So just disable it. And after that, secure boot automatically will be enabled and here you need to change the UEFI boot order otherwise your USB device will not be boot just use F5 or F6 keys to up down so set it on top go into exit and save the changes and after that just plug your USB drive in your laptop and press the boot key like in HP F9 so here you can see USB drive is showing so just hit enter to select it now you got the Windows 11 setup here so just click here next click on install now just click on I don't have a product key and select the addition you want to install like Windows 11 Pro and hit enter. Accept the Microsoft license and click next and click on this advanced section. Now you will get option here to in which drive you want to install. So you need to identify which is your C drive. I have this partition 3 so this is my C drive so just format it first. After that just select it and click next. Now it is started installing Windows 11. Here's the catch. Now just remove your bootable USB. Otherwise you will see again that installation setup. So you need to listen this. That's why I say don't skip the video. Here you need to connect with your Wi-Fi network. And after that, if there is any update, it will get update from server. Now you have installed fresh Windows 11 on your PC and laptop and you can see this is my laptop which is fully supported Windows 11 and it's a version 22H2 and if you have version 23H2 ISO you can also follow the same steps and it is using 2.6 GB RAM it totally depends upon how much RAM you have new file explorer many more new things are here so this is how you can install fresh Windows 11 on any device. 